job interviews is the topic for today's career tip. Specifically, the question is, what are the top questions to ask in a job interview? And I love this question from Ulysses because it's true that a job interview is a two-way conversation. The hiring process is a chance both for the employer to vet you, but also for you to learn more about the employer. And that's something to think about as you put together your list of questions and go through that job interview process. That said, you're in a position where you're still trying to land that job and keep that in mind as you put together these questions. So specifically, the first questions you wanna focus on are questions to rebuild the job description. Now, what do I mean by that? You might have applied to a specific posting. And so you might think, yeah, I understand what the job is, but job postings are notoriously incorrect. Sometimes they're a copy and paste from a previous job description. Sometimes the employer puts together the job description and then as they go through the hiring process, their wish list change, or maybe the business changes or market conditions change, but they don't go back to redo the job description. And so you really want to almost rebuild it from scratch and ask enough questions so that you really understand what the job is, what the employer is looking for, the timeline of when things need to happen. And you'll see that all of these questions that you're asking are both going to help you decide if you want this job, now knowing the most updated information about it, but it will also help you in future interviews. The reality is, is that the questions that you ask are a great source of information to help you perform better in the next interview. The other thing to keep in mind as you put together your list of questions is to ask different questions for HR and for people actually in the department, the group, the line of business that you're interviewing for. So let's say that you are interviewing for a marketing job. When you talk to HR, you can ask these questions about the culture of the company, uh, the history of the company, uh, people in marketing in general. So what does onboarding look like? What do career paths look like? Uh, what training and mentoring is going to be available. And you can certainly ask some of these questions for people in the line of business, but that is your opportunity to really understand the innards of the marketing group. How is marketing done? How is marketing differentiated by this company versus other companies? Uh, what can you expect from a day-to-day? -day? What specific initiatives are in the pipeline? Um, what specific goals do they have to hit before year end? And again, sometimes HR will know these very department specific questions, but most of the time people in HR are working across all of the divisions. And so you want to ask general company-wide questions to HR, but then the department specific or business specific questions to the actual line of business. And then finally, something to think about when you're putting together your list of questions is to ask positively framed questions. And what I mean by that is that you're still selling yourself in this job interview. Yes, you are trying to dig into the company to see, is this a place that I want to work? Is this a job that I want to do? But you also want to make that calculation in the privacy of your own convictions, on your own time, when you already have the offer in hand. Until you have that offer in hand, I would really be focusing on positively framed questions like, um, where do you see this, this company going you know, within the next 12 months, within the next 24 months? Now, you might have read that the company has hit some turmoil with the current market. Uh, maybe this is, let's say, a manufacturing specific company and supply chain is all the rage uh, and issues and delays there, and it might be hampering the company. Would I ask about that? Probably not, not in these initial interviews. It might be something that you want to dig into uh, on the side with people who have already left the company or with people that are not involved in the hiring process if you really feel like this is something that you want to know. But you want to keep the temperature up in terms of the questions that you're asking. So it's less about, okay, ask them easy softball questions. And it's more about ask them questions that 
really speak to things that they want to have happened um, so that you can go forward with this shared, wonderful vision together. And that actually circles back to that very first thing that I said regarding questions that will help you rebuild that job description. When you focus on positively framed questions about where the company is going to go and how it's going to grow in a nice, positive way, then you can also frame yourself as being that perfect addition to the team. And again, keep that temperature up, keep all of the positive vibes going. You are still selling yourself in this interview process. And so now that you have, you know, three criteria essentially uh, to put together your list of questions, you can then customize these um, to really find out what do you need to do and to know um, so that you can do this job. That's really at the end of the day, that is the ultimate question that belies all of the other questions that you're putting together. You want to know uh, what do you need to know to do this job so that you can go forward um, in your other interviews and tailor essentially your responses so that uh, you can land this job. And then you will also have enough information um, after that to consider whether or not you want this job. But remember, when you're in the hiring process, you're still selling yourself. So you always want to keep that in mind.